Hi, this is Jessica, and today I'm going to do a quick digital makeup tutorial in Apple Color. The footage I'm working with today is from a short film by Roxy She called The Siren. Link in the description, so go check it out. Alright, in this clip you can see where the makeup was and wasn't applied on the arm, so we're going to fix that today. First, I'm headed to the primary ins room. Here you can use the circle color balance controls or the graph controls on the bottom. I'm going to increase the contrast using the bottom Luma graph. And this is going to match the color near the bottom of the arm, but it'll make the distinction between makeup and non-makeup more prominent up top. Next, we'll go to the secondaries room and attach our first user shape vignette. Now this is the same thing as using any pen tool in any graphic program. So if you've used that already, then you're practically a pro and you've got this. All right. We're going to soften the edges because otherwise any effect we apply is going to have a sharp drop off. Don't forget to click attach and then head back to your secondaries room. And for the bottom portion, I'm just going to add a little bit color to the shadows. And that's actually pretty good. So that was really easy. Next on to our second secondaries. Same thing as before. User shape vignette and start drawing. So this particular clip doesn't move too much, plus the background is black, so I'm not too worried about being super precise on my points. But if it did move a lot and there is a different color background, we could attach a tracker and be more precise. And that's actually really cool, so maybe next tutorial. Alright, soften the edges again, and then click attach. Now back to the secondaries room. The upper portion of the arm it has more light on it, so I'm going to match the color using the mids and high circle balance controls. And I'm actually going to bring down the luma just a tiny bit in the shadows too. Now if you take a look, you can sort of see where the effect is, so I'm going to move that shape. And that's a little bit better. Alright, now to the color effects room. I'll be using an alpha blend, two blurs, and an HSL key. The first thing I want to do is use the HSL key to target the skin tone. And you'll see because the skin and the scales are so close, color is going to select both of them. So what we're going to do is use the right hand sliders to try to target the skin pigment only. And this is a part where you can spend a lot of your time. But if you're really good, then maybe you won't spend too much of your time so it, it varies, but I'm just going to spend a little time here for tutorial purposes. That's... Whoa. Okay, <laughs> that's not bad right now. So we're going to attach the blur to the HSL key. And side note, if you click bypass on the blur, you can see how it's affecting that HSL key. So we're going to increase the blur spread just a little. And when that's all set, we're going to attach the rest of the nodes by the way of these little noodles here. Double click your output and see how it looks. Now that's too much blur on the scales for my taste. And it's because of the HSL key, I didn't spend enough time there, like I said before. So I'm going to use these sliders again. And that actually might help a lot. Like I said, you could spend a lot of time here, so double click your output and that's, yes, much better. Now I'm going to spend a little bit more time in the secondaries room with the upper arm to get that matched up just perfectly, but otherwise this is the clip before, you see all that makeup there, and this is the clip as of right now. Finally, you can go to your primary outs room and do any last minute changes you want to before you render out your cue. So that's how you do some digital makeup in color. So next time somebody says, hey, we can just fix it in post and you can say, yes, yes we can. All right, thanks for watching, bye-bye.